the worst epidemics and pandemics in history, discover the deadliest epidemics and pandemics in history, including ones that have wiped out entire civilizations. That's interesting, right from their heading. So let's get started. Prehistoric epidemic. Some of the worst pande- epidemics and pandemics in history have doomed whole civiliz- civilizations and brought once powerful nations to their knees, killing millions. While these terrible disease outbreaks still threaten humanity, thanks to the advances in epidemiology, we no longer face the same dire consequences as our ancestors once did. Here, twenty-one of the worst pandemics and pandemics in history, dating from prehistoric to modern times. Yeah. Number one, prehistoric epidemic, circa three thousand BC, about five thousand years ago, an epidemic wiped out a prehistoric village in China. The bodies of the dead were pillowed inside a house that was later burned out. No age group was spared, as the skeletons of juvenile. Juveniles, young adults, and middle-aged people were found inside the house. The archaeological site is now called Hamin Mangha and is one of the best preserved prehistoric sites in northeastern China. Archaeological and anthropological study indicates that the epidemic happened quickly, enough that there was no time for proper burials and the site was not inhabited again. Before the discovery of Hamin Maha, another prehistoric mass burial that dates to roughly the same time period was found at a site called Ma Ao Zigao in southeastern China. T- together, these discoveries suggest that an, that an epidemic ravaged, revolved the entire region. Number two, Plague of Athens, four hundred thirty B.C. Around 430 BC, not long after a war between Athens and Sparta began, an epidemic ravaged the people of Athens and lasted for five years. Some estimates put the death toll as high as 100,000 people. The Greek historian Thersi Thersi Didos, 460 and 400 BC, wrote that people in good health were all of a sudden attacked by violent heat in the head and redness and inflammation in the eyes, the inward parts, such as the throat or tongue, becoming bloody and emitting an unnatural and fetid breath. Translation by Richard Crowley from the book The History of the Peloponnesian War, London Dent, 1914. What exactly this epidemic was has long been a source of debate among scientists. A number of diseases have been put forward as possibilities, including typhoid fever and Ebola. Many scholars believe that overcrowding caused by the war exap- exacerbated the epidemic. Sparta's army was stronger, forcing the Athenians to take refuge behind a series of forty fortifications called the Long Woods that protected their city. Despite the epidemic, the war continued on, not ending until 404 BC, when Athens were forced to cap to um capitulate to Sparta. Number three, Antonine Plague AD from 165 to 180. When soldiers returned to the Roman Empire from campaigning, they brought back more than the spoils of a victory. The Antonine Plague, which may have been smallpox, laid waste to the army and may have killed over 5 million people in the Roman Empire, wrote April Pazzi, a a senior lecturer in Roman history at Manchester Metropolitan University, in a paper published in the book Die Disability in in Antiquity. Many historians believe the epidemic was first brought into the Roman Empire by soldiers returning home after a war against Parthia. The epidemic contributed to the end of the past Romana, the Roman Pis, a period from 27 BC to AD 180, when Rome was at the height of its power. After AD 180, 
instability grew throughout the Roman Empire and experienced more civil wars and invasions by barbarian groups, Christianity became increasingly popular in the time after the plague occurred. Number four, plague of Cyprian, eighty from two hundred fifty two hundred seventy one, named after street, um, after S D Cy Cyprian, a bishop of Carthage, a city in Tunisia, who described the epidemic as signaling the end of the world. The plague of Cyprian is estimated to have killed five thousand people a day in Rome alone. In twenty fourteen, archaeologists in Luxor found what appears to be a mass burial site of plague victims. The bodies were covered with a thick layer of time, historically used as. Disinfectant. Archaeologists found three kilns used to manufacture lime and the remains of black victims burned in a giant bonfire. Experts are sure, are unsure what disease caused the epidemic. The bulls relaxed into a constant flux, discharged the bodily strength, and a fire originated in the marrow ferments into wounds of the fossas, an area of the mouth. Cyberian wrote in Latin in a work called. D. Mortality, translation by Philip Scraff from the book Fathers of the Third Century, Hippolytus, Cabrian, Caius, Novatian Appendix, Christian Classics, Athero Library, eighteen eighty five. Okay, so just move on to the, to the um, most um dead, de to the deadliest pandemics, right? Let's see this one. The Black Death, eight thirteen forty six to thirteen fifty three. The Black Death traveled from Asia to Europe, leaving devastation in its wake. Some estimates suggest that it wiped out over half of Europe's population. It was caused by a strain of the bacterium Yersinia pestis that is likely extinct today, and was spread by fleas on infected rodents. The bodies of victims were buried in mass graves. The plague changed the course of Europe's history. With so many dead, labor became harder to fight, bringing about better pay for workers and the end of Europe's system of serfdom. Studies suggest that surviving workers had better access to meat and higher quality bread. The lack of cheap labor may also have contributed to technological innovation. American plagues, sixteenth century. The American plagues were a cluster of. Eurasian diseases brought to the Americas by European explorers. These unices, unices, including smallpox, contributed to the collapse of the Inca and Aztec civilizations. Some estimates suggest that ninety percent of the indigenous population in the Western Hemisphere was killed off. The diseases helped a Spanish force led by Hernan Cortes to conquer the Arzi. Arztec capital of Tono Tenochtitlan in 1519. Another Spanish force led by Francisco Pizarro conquered the Incas in 1532. The Spanish took over the territories of both empires. In both cases, the Aztec and Incan armies had been ravaged by disease. Um, for some reasons, there. Internet is breaking up and it just couldn't download the rest of the news. So that's the end of our video. Let me just read the other, the another one. Hmm. Let me see. So we've just finished reading the American plagues, and we also have Russian plague as well. But it's um, but I'm not interested in that kind of a pandemic. So I'll move on. To the flu pandemic, okay, flu pandemic, from eighteen eighty nine to eighteen ninety. In the more industrial age, new transport links made it easier for influenza viruses to wreak havoc. In just a few months, the disease spanned the globe, killing one million people. It took just five weeks for the epidemic to reach peak mortality. The earliest cases were reported in Russia. The virus spread rapidly throughout St. Street, I think Street. Ah,、uh, Petersburg. Before it quickly made its way throughout Europe and the rest of the world, despite the fact that air travel didn't exist yet. 
Okay, so we have another flu case, another flu pandemic, which is Spanish flu from 1918 to 1920. It lasts for, it lasted two years. An estimated 500 million people from the South Seas to the North Pole fell victim to Spanish flu. One fifth of those died, with some indigenous indigenous communi communities pushed to the brink of extinction. The flu spread and lethality was enhanced by the cramped conditions of soldiers and poor warm time nutrition that many people were experiencing during World War I. Despite the name Spanish flu, the disease likely did not start in Spain. Spain was a neutral nation during the war and did not enforce strict censorship of its press, which could therefore freely publish early accounts of the units. As a result, people falsely believed the units were specific to Spain and the name Spanish flu stuck. So, Spanish flu is considered the deadliest pandemic in history of humanity. Okay, so another flu pandemic again. It is Asian flu from 1957 to 1958, so it just lasted for a year. The Asian flu pandemic was another global showing for influenza. With the roots in China, the disease claimed more than 1 million lives. The virus that caused the pandemic was a plant of avian flu viruses. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention notes that the disease spread rapidly and was reported in Singapore in February 1978, 1957, Hong Kong in April 1957, and the coastal cities of the United States in the summer of 1957. The total death toll was more than 1.1 million worldwide, with 116,000 deaths occurring in the United States. Oh my god, this is horri horrifying, this one. AIDS pandemic and epidemic, 1981 to present day. AIDS has claimed an estimated 35 million lives since it was first identified, HIV. And by the way, AIDS is the final stage of HIV. HIV, which is the virus that causes AIDS, likely developed from a chimpanzee virus that transferred to humans in West Africa in the 1920s. This virus made its way around the world, and AIDS was a pandemic by the late 20th century. Now, about 64% of the estimated 40 million living with human immunodeficiency virus, which stands for HIV, live in sub-Saharan Africa. For decades, the disease had no known cure, but medication developed in 1990s now allows people with the disease to experience a normal lifespan with regular treatment. Even more encouraging, two people have been cured of HIV as of early 2020. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'll read this one, West African Ebola Epidemic 2014 to 2016. Ebola ravaged West Africa between 2014 and 2016 with 28,600 reported cases and 11,325 deaths. The first case to be reported was in Guinea in December 2013. The disease quickly spread to Liberia and Sierra Leone. The bulk of the cases and deaths occurred in those three countries. A smaller number of cases occurred in Nigeria, Mali, Senegal, the United States, and Europe. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported. There's no cure for Ebola as well, like AIDS and HIV, although efforts at finding a vaccine are ongoing. The first known cases of Ebola occurred in Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo in 1976, and the virus may have originated in bats. Um, this one, Zika virus epidemic, 2015 to the present day. The impact of the recent Zika pandemic in South America and Central America won't be known for several years. In the meantime, scientists face a race against time to bring the virus under control. The Zika virus is usually spread through mosquitoes of the Acidus genus, although it can also be sexually transmitted in humans. While Zika is usually not harmful to adults or children, it can attack infants who are still in the womb and cause birth defects. The type of mosquitoes that carry Zika flourish best in warm, humid climates. climates 
making South America, Central America, and part of the Southern United States prime areas for the virus to flourish. And of course, we couldn't we couldn't end the articles without COVID nineteen pandemic as one of the most de- one of the deadliest epidemic in history. COVID nineteen pandemic from twenty nineteen present day. Oh my God. It could be downloaded, which is oh my god! I am the most excited and looking forward to this. Now can be downloaded. That was so weird. Let me try it again. I will not give up. Come on, COVID nineteen. Oh my goodness! Why this so weird? I mean, I've been waiting for it for like. Okay, so now I have to fight again. Or so maybe you guys know all about the COVID nineteen. So I don't have to tell you guys or provide with any information. You can totally go to the internet and find out more about COVID nineteen, about its originate, originate, origin, about its ori- origin, about its symptoms, and how many deaths occurred worldwide. So that's it for today's video. If you have any more questions, just leave below this video, and I'll make sure to answer all of this, and my ability. Bye.